We're gonna play the Transformers movie game from 2007. Does it still stand up to this day? No. Not at all. This is god awful. Why can't I walk up here when I'm carrying something? This explosion will not stop. All the buildings on the street are blowing up now. Right away, my controller's not working, so we're off to a great start. Okay, we're back. Hey, I can move. I cannot walk back up this hill. I'm supposed to be in the skies right now, but this man has spotted me, so we cannot let him live. Okay, so right away, the driving in this game is pretty- Excuse me, sir, I was talking. Hey, there's already a Decepticon. I am doing terrible right now. I do like how we can pick up the enemies and just throw them, and then they explode like Lego pieces. So as I was saying earlier, the driving in this game is pretty bad. Every time I turn, it feels more like I'm sliding on the ground than actually turning. Time for the first mission. Jeez, I almost killed that lady. The combat in this game isn't the best. Look at this guy who got caught up in the middle of this. The controls are very clunky, and I think that is all of them. That jump to the cutscene is so abrupt. Look at the way he walks. Oh god, the driving is so bad. Oh, turn around. Why are you facing the wrong way? There's a lot of innocent people probably dying right now. I keep trying to press right trigger to shoot. This guy's annoying. I'm going to pick up this cop car. It could be barricaded for all we know. And I completely missed. <laughs> oh, oh, they're dead. Okay, let's finish the rest of these guys out. I just like picking cars up with people inside them and throwing them because I have no sense of morality. That's what happens when you get older. For example, watch this. They are dead. And I feel no remorse. Maybe I should play Decepticons. I do enjoy causing a little bit of chaos. It makes me feel very silly. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Why did the game speed up like that? All right, so let me show you some of the glitches in this game. For one, oh, that, I, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to jump. Oh no, all the buildings on the street are blowing up now. Oh no, 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 no. Oh god, it's still going. What have I done? I'm supposed to be the good guy. <laughs> Regrettably, I have destroyed an entire street of buildings. Hey, he looks like Ratchet. Oh. oh no, what blew up? What did I blow up again? I have too much power in my hand. So one of the glitches in this game is I should be able to climb, but for some reason I cannot. That could be because I'm playing on a modern day PC, so that might limit me in some of the things I can do. So I can't really get all the collectibles because some of them are on rooftops. But if I'm being honest, I'm probably never going to play this game again. Nostalgia doesn't make things good. One thing I didn't like about this game is how it would constantly pester you to get to the next mission. Get to the residence yep, of Sam just like that. It's very annoying. Just let me drive up random hills in peace where I'll find Decepticons for some reason. What are you doing up here? I do want to do this next mission though. Oh, oh, that is water. I keep accidentally pressing the wrong button and shooting. Time for the next mission. The whole concept of disguise is completely thrown out the window in this game. They're just kind of looking at me. I like how they see me and just run. Hey, oh, that's a bus. Oh, he's beating the shit out of me. This is a Decepticon, right? Oh, where are the other ones? Why are they so far away? Honestly, this game isn't a whole lot of fun anymore. Oh, chapter failed. Am I that bad at video games? Now we have to do all that again. I blame the clunky controls. Why are they so far away? We'll get the ones up front first. Oh no, one's getting away. Uh, oh, oh, what? Uh, you can tell this is a game from 2007. Oh my fucking god. As soon as you run into things while driving, it immediately slows you down. I will say this is a mildly frustrating game. Finally. Next mission, fighting Barricade. He's just gonna keep doing that, isn't he? If I recall, we need to throw stuff at him, which is how I solve all my problems. Immediately a cutscene. Now he's running away and we have to get to the next location. And now we have to fight him in the baseball park. All the game mechanics and controls and everything really just feels very outdated in this game because it is like 20 years old. Sorry, 16. I don't know why I thought it was 2027 right now. Also, I don't think he can go beyond this point. He's just stuck there. Look at that. He can't move. Let's throw this big old donut at him. That did not work. For some reason, no matter how many things I throw at him, he won't stop that animation, so I can't continue the boss battle. I think I had this issue when I was younger also playing the game on PS2, so I don't know what to do now. Oh, oh, it worked. Okay, okay, no, 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 uh, uh, oh. No, no, we have to do it all again. Why can't I walk up here when I'm carrying something? Oh my God. The worst driving controls. There were driving games at this time. How is this so bad? Time to throw stuff again. His health bar is low now, and for some reason, I still cannot get him to break that animation, so I cannot progress. 
Please work this time. Oh, oh, it worked. Oh, no, 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 no. Why am I facing the other way? Oh, I finally did it. Now we have to chase him again. And roll out. Oh, he said the thing. I'm gonna blow shit up. Can Wait, can, I can't even throw this. It just blows up right in front of me. I don't know if this is a glitch with the game or if it's just because I'm playing it on a modern day PC, but even playing this game on the PS2, it was still kind of glitchy. <laughs> I like how he just turned into a car there. Is he dead yet? There we go. I wish I was dead so I didn't have to play this game. Earth are you? I don't think he's from Earth. I do like how they have the movie actors doing the voices for this game. This is great and all, but let's try playing as a Decepticon now. So I just used a cheat code to unlock all the missions just now, because cheat codes were a thing back in the day. I've never played any of these Cybertron missions, so let's do that. Why is the camera so close to him? And this camera shake is nauseating. Do I just have to defeat 35 enemies? No, we're not doing that. Let's do this instead. We get to play as Megatron and a traffic light is partially inside of him. The camera is still way too close to him. This is not a quality game. Oh my God. The turning is absolutely terrible. This might have to do with playing on a modern day PC. Just look at that. This is God awful. Maybe we can at least try this mission. So we basically just need to destroy the city within this time period and the percentage is going up so slowly. Can I even do this in time? I'm only at like 10% now and yep. Mission failed. Let's play as Optimus Prime. His character model looks pretty good. Never mind, his proportions are way off. I love how he kind of slides when you transform him. The camera though is still very close to him in vehicle mode. It is still a very, very janky game. Did me transforming just blow up that building? Let's try this mission. Hey, we get to play as Jazz. Oh, there's some police cars and- oh, oh. <laughs> The bloom effects right now are absolutely insane. Let me turn that off. That is so much better. Oh, where did these guys come from? They just spawned in. So I think I just have to blow stuff up to cause a distraction. And this feels like the opposite of what Autobots are supposed to do. Also, he walks kind of funny. Look at that. I will say the music in this game, pretty good. So I have to blow this up. Is there not a person inside here? Oh my God. I really don't feel like we're the good guys here. I'm not really sure why we're doing this. I skipped so much of the story. We're just causing grand amounts of chaos that is probably killing people. But hey, it is past office hours. Maybe no one died. The speedometer feels wrong. I do not feel like I'm going 90 miles an hour right now. The thing about this game is that it feels very repetitive. It is still hilarious how everything just speeds up when it's on the chapter complete moment. We're Optimus Prime now and I want to destroy that tank. That's not what I wanted to pick up. I hate this game. Him shooting is very satisfying though. I feel like this is Optimus Prime in the later Bayverse movies where he doesn't mind killing people. Okay, okay, watch this. This is really cool, I think. Hold on, hold on. I love how he slides like that and turns around. Uh, I will say this game is not a whole lot of fun. And what is happening here? <laughs> this explosion will not stop. It's still going. Oh my god. I do want to post more stuff on my gaming channel, so if you want to see more of these types of videos, subscribe over there. 